there has never been a better time to ask when does tsm play because no no <laughs> no 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 we no, just no, watch no. domination no. on the no. side of fluffy aimers 13-1 no. tsm could only secure one round on the map of sunset and this is not what we we're expecting at all but welcome back everybody to violent challengers north america now we need to talk about this because we've talked about these two teams being very close yes it was fluffy aimers map but vans I was at 13 1. We, this is so rare to see. Yeah. And, and look at that 11 pulse plant opportunities for fluffy aimers. That is one of those, those games where unfortunately you just are starting off on a very, very, uh, at the very most wrong foot as possible. Really, really cold going into the game. There's only maybe been some flash in the pan towards the end of the map where we saw maybe GMD getting like a 2K on a two versus one that's off screen with a bulldog. And then finally <laughs> you're starting to see like the IGL being like, you know what, let me pull up my big board trousers and try to do what I can here to help out the team. But overall, like anything that flame, our fame star was trying to do towards the attack side just worked out. Every duel, every entry, every fake, it just worked. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed too that TSM put themselves in situations where they were being aggressive or taking space while not having like a supportive second man pushing up with them, whether it was GMD trying to stop an orb grab from the offense, but not having someone else that can flash up with them or someone that can satchel there. I would love to see like GMD play with someone else. And then they started to put GMD at the opposite side or more at mid. And you saw TSM restructuring their defense, but it got broken into every single time because fluffy aimers would overwhelm them in numbers so it doesn't even matter who had the better shot when there was always someone there to trade for fluffy aimers and there was two things that fluffy aimers were capitalizing from that we got the chance to see here and it was number one it was bones having the opening kill and capitalizing out of that as the rest of the team was doing and the second one was just converting the number disadvantage over and over again in that last round of the first half when it seems like maybe it was going to be a 10-2 for uh, for tsm trying to secure that second round is a 2v4 that ends up fluffy aimers uh it, Fluffy Amers ends up securing. So yeah. it was a back and forth between these two teams where it seems like in so many rounds it was close. TSM were going to get this round. They get the first pick. They get the second pick. But then what? They could not convert it. It was, as you said, Vans, just a very, very cold start for TSM. Yeah. And maybe if I could think off the top of my uh, head, there's maybe like two or three occasions where it came down to like one versus one or one versus two where one had to outplay the other. But most of these rounds, though, I got to say, even if there was a, a game plan for TSM, that, that trap play that we saw towards the spawn, as you highlighted Bones, all star player, right? When we needed him to create that space or just turn around over with an operator of all things with the players pushing in on an eco and they're still able to convert the round back and no punishment to come out from TSM on top of those. Losing these five on twos and five on threes, it's not a good look, unfortunately. It, it's something that it really shouldn't happen. But if you're a fan of TSM, you're expecting it to be only that map one starting cold and then coming back on this map two. Yep. And let's take a look at the maps once again, because the first one, that map of Sunset, was the pick of Fluffy Aimers. The second map of mine is going to be the pick of TSM. And it's a map, Lemon, that we haven't seen for Fluffy Aimers in quite some time. Oh, not since they were called together. We are terrific. Back in my day when Kampeki and Will were on the team, they were on bind and uh, they went the distance against thinking men who were at the bottom of the standings at the time and it went into OT and TWT lost 13 to 15 and it was off of some gecko fade stuff which who knows what we're going to see from them today because this is not the same lineup as you guys can tell and over on TSM side we saw them against Oxygen last week on Bind that went to OT and they had a cool look with the deadlock yeah if anything if you're looking on the side of TSM uh, as you mentioned Android there's always something that's good for TSM is that they're always good on bouncing back right remember when they lost our map um uh, against um, Blin, if I'm not mistaken, and they had to go to a third map. They really stepped up here in in the in the series to really come back and win this. But it was very one sided, though, to start things off for uh, TSM and for Fluffy Amers to capitalize on that first map. If we want to go to that bind, though, conversation, yes, I'm 
looking forward to see what we're going to pull out here for fluffy aimers because of that different composition or the different team that we're currently say uh, that we currently see now but yeah. there's a di there's a reason why sorry they probably want to leave bind in there because they potentially know that you know tsm might be sticking into this deadlock for the composition that they looked pretty good uh, the last time they played against oxg and lost in overtime 12 to 14 and, and got a lot of value on how aggressive they were around that deadlock on a map like bind but maybe mm -hmm. now as you know deadlocks are getting picked more and more here on this map for different teams she maybe start getting figured out now where you know backstab uh, capabilities or more aggressive pushes on the defensive side on b and early map control on b may be the solutions or showers crunches or something like that so i feel yeah. like there's potentially a game plan around here for fluffy aimers to try to counter dsm's map pick I, I like the deadlock because I feel like B is just so annoying to get through. You you have the cage or you have sonic sensors around hookah and it just makes it for such a slow burn. Well, as I'm really curious to see what uh, fluffy aimers do because pancakes usually plays Astra on this map and we just saw how, how good their sky was and sky being popular on this map. Are they going to fall back to the skies their initiator? Because in the past it was gecko and fade, but it, that was Kanpeki at the time. So new initiators, new team, new look maybe for fluffy aimers on this map. Yeah, we're all curious to see what those agents are going to look like, if there's going to be any difference, is going to be the deadlock again or not. So for that, let's jump into the agent select. Let's see if things are different because TSM, again, this is so, so uncharacteristic for them. As you mentioned, Bands, last time when we got to see them against Oxygen, Oxygen right now is the best team that we have in Challengers, no doubt. They took down M80, the favorite team that was before. And so now it, if they came into a closed map, closed series against Oxygen, they can definitely put up a fight against fluffy aimers and these are the compositions that we're looking at i see gecko on both sides i see a proto uh, on this deadlock once again and once again as well it is going to be the race for bones going against the race of sim it's looking pretty interesting i'm gonna leave you guys up to it caster take it away oh we get to get in trouble now that mom isn't here so. <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> Uh, but no, this uh, look, looking at these uh, this roster composition though. So TSM, nothing changes so far for for their side. But I love here that fluffy aimers are pulling something similar out of a strat book of potentially footballists of bringing out here this omen on mummy on this map uh if if anything if he's been watching a little bit of like emea into the vcts there's been a lot of good and decent one ways that uh, at a captain has been placing overall on this map that is very disruptive on how uh, uh players and teams can really take control of the map on bind early this time around and i think that's the name of the game if you could continue to get these one-way smokes down like let's say down towards bottom uh b and you could be a little bit more aggressive to grab orbs you do definitely have great opportunities to have faster rotates and faster flanks for this type of composition and i'm i'm, I'm intrigued mm -hmm. for it i'm looking forward to it for sure uh as we're gonna see this omen come through yes and also different roles uh once again from uh, i almost want to say together we are to rig but a fluffy ever since that was the last yeah. time we saw them neptune and pancakes switching it up where pancakes was the astral last time neptune played gecko so fluffy aimers have grown a lot since since the terrific days i guess they're more they're terrific -er, as their defense will, will hold as best as they can they'll have pancakes that can counter flash or they could just let tsm take the site and wait for reinforcements actually behind them too is bones playing from showers teleporting in too is neptune tsm may just get wingman to play it they'll have their viper wall oh well, not their viper wall but a viper wall to help assist sectioning this map but tsm will just now get first blood and now that rotates have been pulled tsm will have to scrap through this there's been some good delays at the start and here's the second attempt five for a triple swing so far so good tsm only kill only plant no die that's the name of the game until pancakes comes out of showers after Bones was dealt with, Paul Favors need to work together. The flank shut down. TSM, great awareness. And they'll drive and take pistol. 
Man, it was actually really good by TSM to bring this patience out on the first wave of deniability that came through from a util. The idea there, you saw it, like fast rotates using the TPs. Uh, they already know that the pistol on TSM is going to flood towards the A site, throw that deadlock wall towards the spawn. That's something that TSM has done nonstop here on this map of buying on pistol. Uh, and it's... It, it should be read. It should be understood. So they had the, the clearance with the dog and played behind it. But then after that, once TSM got denied the first capability to plant, the first right attempt there. to plant, they just held their spawn, held their spots, and then just let the opponents come towards them. And they're able to get the pigs in the end. Couple of bulldog buys, a vandal for Sim, and some sheriffs and classics. TSM making noise and smart, quick disengage. Especially if you spotted the rays to get out of a paint shell Down and range. Out. And I guess Pancakes is just going to stand there. TSM with burst blood. They've weakened A. And they pulled all four rotates from Fluffy Amers to go to A. But the spikes at B. Yeah, right now it's just one of those standard things here for Fluffy Amers. They lose a player. They're trying to get early advantage. And then they realize here with the amount of util that they threw towards this B main. And then their, their teammate, sorry, got picked off towards the A site. That potentially here, TSM is just going to pivot and push towards that area. But look how patient we're still playing here. There's still going to be an open plant no matter what for TSM. And they're, they should be in great positions right after to play the pulse plants. Again, they only have now this time two shares as one just got picked off. Uh, picked up, sorry, from Pancakes' body. And they'll try to do some damage out of that. But TSM should be in a good spot to be able to win this second round. I mean, look how far they're playing back. They still have a molly available for GMD. They still have pain shells available for Sim. All of them playing towards B-Long. Uh, should be a 2-0 here. I mean, look at Fame. They're all heading back towards spawn and um, about to die to Spike. Right there. So, if anything, great round. It's flawless for TSM. They can build the yeah. economy. And what's important, though, when you're looking at this composition for Fame, what's different to what I was talking about when it's very similar to pulling an Omen, like out of Captain over a football list. What they don't have, though, this time around is the, the KO. Uh, because the knives, they can't counter any type of util, but they can still flash the same way and effectively as, as KO. And they don't have real stalls, right? You don't have an Astra to, to suck with the nanes. You don't have a deadlock to net with the nanes. So they have to be a little bit more aggressive with those fundamentals on how to capitalize on these rounds. And TSM, like, they're really measured on how they approached B. They, even despite them going up against a team with pistols, like, TSM took their time with it. Approach, they get picks, and they're not immediately satcheling in and becoming crazy aggressive. They take, it's really patient play out of TSM, knowing the, the tough competition that they're up against, considering how map one began. So this is a, a great start for TSM to ride the, the wind in these sails and to see how far... It can really take them, and now they'll have even more time to, <laughs> to think about it. Yeah, definitely more time at this point, too. And TSM, they, they have this bonus round in, at least before the bearers came up. We could still look at the, uh, or as the bearers about to come up, we could still look at the state of the game for this round, right? Seven is getting really close to his thrash that he could definitely utilize here for uh, something good for the pulse plant if they're able to capitalize on this and you can already see here from that from that radar they they are focusing on this b-side lean so you're trying to potentially get just who can control first push your opponents back keep them within the site so you have more uh, capabilities of uh, anticipating or setting up here a 3-2 split towards this B site. Whereas for Fluffy Aimers, they are looking for some early showers control, at least at the beginning with Pancakes and Mummy at that spot. Because again, their their objective is also potentially to deny or uh, pick up here against their opponents. And uh, they're gambling here that the, the hit may be defaulting towards the showers side to pick up this orb. I like the defensive setup from Fluffy Aimers. I really thought they were going to win Pistol just based on kind of what power positions they had on the map. They were actually behind TSM's offense where they still had Bones and Showers. I think they may even had a second member. I think that was Pancakes who was set up in the corner. And TSM, they just kind of played this from front to back of going through U-Haul, clearing the backside, and then turning around. And I think the Viper Wall came up, which kind of sections certain duels in favor of TSM. And... So Fluffy Amers, and then also had the rotations pulled on that second map. And I mean, you do what you can with the pistols. So bonus coming up shortly where TSM, this is already more rounds that they took on Sunset. So, you know, we only go up from here, right? Hopefully, hopefully at this point too. But remember the, the last time that uh, TSM played here on this map, 
it didn't look too good uh, either. Actually, playing it on stage one, they lost to uh, to uh, YFP, and looking at stage two here, they went one and one. So we do remember like the back and forth between Oxygen Esports, but they 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 haven't really found that great consistency on this map in terms of results for TSM. But it only makes sense as we if you just tune in now, we went through the map vetoes at the beginning of the show at, at top of the series, and we've are I've I've called it out that. Actually, the Vitos are looking really good here for Fluffy Aimers because they were able to get rid of both uh, Breeze and also Lotus, where TSM, they also look kind of rocky uh, on, on Lotus, but still have some of the cleanest protocols, at least on how they're playing uh, on their uh, on their defensive side. So now that now that they're playing probably like the third map uh, at this point, or you could only get into the weaker and weaker and weaker parts of the map pool of TSM. And with the results that started earlier on here for Fame on the first map with a 13-1 victory, you really need to start to build that confidence early. And thankfully, they've done so by winning Pistol, converting that second round, and trying to see if they can get value here off this third round. Map TSM have already used to this flash and the dog to clear out, just getting a little bit, one second outside of all that smoke, realizing no one's here. The Brim smoke is greatly placed by GMD, but look how fluffy Aaron stands to deliver. It's Neptune with three. Doesn't matter if he's locked in, you're locked in him, in there with him, as fluffy Aaron will take the bonus. It looked like it was supposed to be some sort of right set execution with a net nade and getting in right now for TSM through VUCA, but everything was fully denied here. Looks like the position that was placed by Neptune behind the Radiant Eye boxes were one of the spaces that wasn't accounted for when TSM was trying to go for that flood hit, and it allowed for him to get three really easy kills on TSM trying to jump out of the omen smoke being thrown here by Mummy. And you even saw here at the last second, he had a paranoia ready to throw at the same time should they need a more uh, extra utility to support here this hookah push. TSM being as quiet as they can with three and two choices of flashes. Or tab bones. Wow, Sim held the angle. Both didn't see it. And he got the teleport. Getting hosed down TSM. One now every duel they've taken as Mame will escape back to the A site and TSM will pull back. That was a great start too. So they were trying to bait out that they were going to take showers control, trying to say, hey, Seven's here. We're going to try to get the thrash out of the ASCP. And looks like uh, Fluffy Emers are trying to set a trap play, but there were still players pulling behind, uh, playing further back rather for TSM. And they're able to capitalize on trades and get actually a huge advantage a full roster against three left where now they can leverage this thrash off the kill from seven they don't have to push into showers they can just pivot back towards the b site and use that with sky flashes to get map control fluffy aimers read this well jonah will hold the elbow while the other two are in hookah they're smoked off though so neptune will just jump out and jonah at the same time swings but tsm hold their own and it's three to one that's a, a lot of responsibility done to your proto as well for your protos to, to make sure that he lands that net. So however, they're going to try to run in behind the dog using util and surprisingly enough, seven's the one that's running in first so that they could bait out a couple of kills here as the wingman's already going through for a plant. So as they get contact, jumping outside the window, a proto throws a net into the smoke, into elbow so that uh, Fluffy Emers cannot go for those double swings back from elbow and, and hookah. Because you know they've been very confident on that first map and they're not afraid to swing out and show that they are they want to fight against TSM here. It's a great punishment. Still staying cool right now despite the 113 loss. Walk contact towards the gate site. They'll come into contact to a few players. Yeah, with Bones and Pancakes who were watching that. There's still a dizzy left from Pancakes and Bones already got taken out from the smoke that just left a tiny lane right there. to get lock eyes with bones tsm with now multiple first bloods and not only that able to convert the round two which is not something they were able to do on sunset now with the smoke sim is gonna see if anyone dares to step into it while dip and dive and dodge through all the hails of bullets going through tsm will escape with the spike knowing how close they were and their backline take it out and on the chase is fluffy aimers right behind them but they just walked into tsm's trap 
I love that TSMs are leave, always leaving our person behind just to make sure that they watch over these fast oh, rotates, amazing. and it's working out on how it's getting good results and good value off these picks. Although Jonah just walks through the sonic sensor, so he has an opportunity to go for a backstab in Proto. Realizes that, but he's still only looking towards Sans. Jonah looks like at the end doesn't want to commit towards moving up this B site. So he's trying to find exits here. It might catch a seven. A seven is going to give a lot of trust here to a Proto. Toxins Thinking that a Proto has the line. So the round's going to go for TSM no matter what. And it looked like it wasn't going to be the case because I, I felt like the wall kind of missed towards the spawn. And uh, you saw that I think it was Neptune with a stinger or Pancakes with a stinger that was able to get that win fight inside U-Haul against GMD. But after that, the fast pivot for TSM towards that B site, making sure that they're covering each other's tracks when they're rotating out, and also seeing here that the shots are not landing as cleanly for Fluffy Aimers now from Jonah. Oh. TSM now has a chance to fight back. On the next episode, you'll find out what happens in that 1v1. But with that last round too, one away from Seekers, Got the thrash. TSM are locked and loaded for this next round, but Neptune already has Seekers, and we haven't seen a level of ag aggression from Fluffy Aimers. Like, they're really not extending out of these sites. It's TSM really selling these A fakes, and even sometimes when they've gotten first and second blood on the A site, they'll still go to the other one, so it's been tough to figure out where they're Again, gonna go. Speaking of move. aggression, TSM sends Thrash forward through the hookah as Fluffy Aimers just try to hold at the back of the site. They teleport, try to crunch, thinking TSM are coming through hookah, but they all sent it be long, crossing through the smoke, now established on the site with first blood. Spike will be planted, and TSM reestablished their brim smoke, so Fluffy Aimers have to swing together this time. That's gonna go down, and they're kind of just stuck towards the hookah. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're gonna go for this. It's another three right versus there. five. They have seekers on top yeah. of that for TSM. Probably not gonna pop it yet because they're still in great spots to cover each other. And there you go. You see the last three players walking back here towards the site of A and save their weapons. And man, this was just off the back of one player this this time around, just to keep the their opponents at bay. And that's seven. Get in the first thrash to go towards Hookah. And then you already see the instant pivot coming out from Fluffy Aimers. And it's getting stopped by a simple Dizzy where they can't pressure against seven. They can't get into U-Haul. Or sorry, they can't get into Hookah because it's smoked out by GMD. So there's no value that they're getting outside of these fast rotates thanks to their TPs. And this is something you mentioned here, Lemon Kiwi, where Famer are giving a lot of space for TSM. It almost looks like Sunset all over again. This time, the tables have turned because it's TSM that has full map control into doing whatever they want to do because Fluffy Aimers just wants to react on where the pop is going to be happening with the deadlock at the helm, right? With the utility that she's going to use. Yeah, it's TSM that on offense, it's always going to look better. We didn't really get to see uh, too much of that considering they started on defense on Sunset and got rolled through that entire first half. So not a lot of chances, especially with Fluffy Amber's taking pistols. So um, I love to see that the game planning, the mid round calling from TSM to play that chess match of getting first blood at A, either take the tele, I mean, usually take the teleport over to B and not always going through hookah to not even let themselves get flanked. They can just all take one path and quite literally bulldoze into the site. And with the brim, they really isolate the site well. And if they have, they have a proto on the deadlock still alive, it makes the post plants even more difficult to get through. So really liking to see the execution out of TSM now that we can see them play. <laughs> exactly. Now that they finally have an opportunity to take control of the map, to be the ones directing how they want to play around this map. And TSM's making it work. I don't know if this wall kind of missed, though, from Jonah. Not only is it not going through the TP, but there's no gap for them to play behind that wall, too. He's trying to hide behind the B side. But it doesn't matter for TSM. At least they're slowly holding their grounds on. Just more pressure on the middle, trying to find a faster rotate on A to B, depending where the hit could be coming from. I think Fluffy Amorous out of this timeout, TSM's thinking, okay, well, they've given us so much space. They're probably going to try to have to make a play here. So they're staying towards the spawn. They heard the TP, yet they still don't want to move. Once you get closer to that minute mark, it might be 
just a Gamba, right? They have Seekers. They might pop behind that. And we have a great read for Fluffy Aimers, though, that they have four players there on towards this A site. Galloping through showers. Boys doesn't get any information besides the fact that Bones is not holding that angle. TSM flood all through, but it's paint shells and an exchange of dizzies that nullifies Cover going out. this no man's territory. TSM don't get the push they wanted, but they look still committed for round two. Here. Second wave with Seekers. There you go. Seekers came in a left. bit late, but hey, it still will lead them to where their next target is. Here. Proto swings yeah. onto Bones. Boom bot to hold down U Haul. TSM will plan, and with the mosh pit, they'll secure and section their side of A. TSM are in such a weakened state against the three very healthy defenders of Fluffy Amers playing at the back as best as they can. TSM. So using the walls, I think there's a crack through that wall, so it's not Definitely. really gonna stop Fluffy Amers from getting behind them, and that's the crack that Pancakes broke through. Now with the thrash, it's gonna go and detain one at the back, and you saw seven on top of this box and couldn't win that duel nonetheless. Seven no is the go through the box and everything. The 4K for him. While GMD is actually detained and he's at seven HP. What better number? I think he just activates into triple damage when he's at the same number of health as his actual name. So Seven gets a beautiful setup and saves the round there for TSM with their head at this advantage again. This literally looks like it's Fluffy Aimers on Sunset, where in these scenarios where you're at an, an advantage, you lose it against only two players, make that even one because GMD was still detained. And I was gonna criticize here, a, a couple of pieces of YouTube. We're gonna hold that thought because they're already putting down towards court. Wow, Puffy Amor is just now really going for an aggressive play, which is you're risking for the biscuit with the weaponry they have. Especially when TSM starts stomping, it's the, the train. It's hard to stop everything from Pancake's throne to allow them to Spike maybe down be eight. a distraction for Jonah, which kind of works out. Five HP and a kill. TSM brought down to three. Pancakes. Oh, wow. Wow. And the annihilation. They're so sick of that guy. Jonah, though, he, he's definitely still on the flank. TSM knew this all along. So 4K for a proto with the annihilation at the end. The 4Ks continue to reign here throughout this whole series. And this time more in favor of TSM. And I sound like a broken record, but the 4Ks were also on the side of Fluffy Aimers when they were actually winning here, not allowing TSM to get more than one round. I wonder if we're just gonna trade maps at the same scoreline. A little bit too early to tell. But as we see here, they attempt to move forward. They still made it rather expensive, still killing three players, forcing out an annihilation out of TSM. So it's a pretty decent dub here for Fluffy Aimers. And off the timeout, too, that we heard earlier, they're finally able to have enough economy to pull out an operator. And it's both raises, actually. They're going to pull out an op. Sim is doing the same thing. They're defaulting now towards the B side, trying to punish a jump spot from the sky if she's going to try to re peek out towards this B main. But unfortunately, it's a jiggle instead. Anybody home? It's hunting season for Sim. Who's going to be peeking this? Is Fluffy Amers just hoping to play behind this Viper wall? They're just playing out of sight, trying to catch someone satcheling in. And there is the scramble. First one for Fluffy Amers. And while blinded, Sim with the op shot. But it's the orbital strike from GMD that cracks this egg. Wingman doing his part in the operation. Fluffy Amers, two left, one with the op. And with the economy and the state that it is, I'm surprised Bones would want to keep this up, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, they definitely want to keep the op at least and maybe try to help Mummy pick up a weapon off a kill because he only has a bulldog on his end. But you definitely see it now th towards the radar that TSM doesn't want to overcommit, overreact. Those that need ults within the next round to chase some kills, they don't need to. They already have the thrash from Seven, the showstopper from Sim. For you. Next round. Potentially here, you want to give the op to maybe a proto or somebody else so that Sim could get an opener with the showstopper to create that space. But TSM, full control of the attacks that have bind so far. Uh, the tables have turned from 
how sunset started to now what vine looks like we're all just goaded at our map picks and nothing else what's going on but this is tsm also getting to start the half on attack these are just offensive uh, oriented teams i guess yeah and right now for fluffy aimers i i, I feel like they just really haven't had a chance to get their bearings into place on, on their defensive side and it's not those i mean it started off with yes these fast quick rotates and fast pivots that came through the teleporters that tsm was able to punish but this time around we were, we don't see that happen too much they're actually trying to do, take a little bit more map control what tsm didn't do on sunset yet the map control that they're trying to get is still getting punished by tsm by these slow defaults that they're continuously doing here after every round but you do see now in this round uh, there is the operator not given her a proto, but to poise so that Sim could try to find the timing so they could pivot in the last moment for a showstopper hit. And as now they realize the dog coming out towards the B side that on fame, they're not going to see too much. They might start setting up some sort of paranoia and maybe over rotate some players at the wrong spots. But it's TSM instead that's moving towards that area with the showstopper and that over rotate now becomes a great rotate for the defensive side. Ooh, Bones. Almost had the shot he wanted. Gonna adjust. Dodge the Gecko flash. And here the showstopper though. All the troops are coming. TSM no at way. least still convert with the showstopper. Sim just ran through the whole site and has not been stopped. Counter showstopper, but Sim is quicker to the punch. And TSM have U-Haul control and it's fluffy aimers with their backs against the wall. The off is still alive and well. Boys pick that up. He's the last one left against Mummy and the Bulldog and 5 HP. We'll see if he got that dog in him because fluffy aimers desperately need this round. Through the smoke, he'll tap it and he's going to have to stick it. Boys, he's going to have to run up and do something about it. Oh wait, he stuck it. He just had 5 HP. One bullet is all it took. Let's leave whatever happened. Called, the round. I can't the believe one that. that was at the APC that lost that fight, called it out for poise. He's only five HP. You could get that uh, that shot. That's why he switched over to the sheriff. That's why he wanted to play more passively, because you're forcing the hand of Mame to run through and go for the defuse. And then when Munme tapped on that spike and realized that, oh, he only has a sheriff with an op. Uh, as as weapons, I could stick this. And it got way too late here for Poise to pick up the Vandal and come through. But Poise still had a flash. He got a flash inside that smoke and rushed through. Something that he, I mean, I criticized Poise as well of not using his flashes last week when they played on this map. And unfortunately, this could have been a saver one. But, I mean, as I'm creating so much drama, it's still <laughs> eight to two. <laughs> you know, okay. they're, still, they're still owning this attack side so far for TSM. That'd be a tilter of a round, though. I'd be, I mean, maybe that's also a hype round for Fluffy Avers. And that could be a vibe shifter for sure. So TSM have been stuffed out of A, and with the Viper's Pit and A short, TSM definitely got info with the Trailblazer, but that is just not the site they're going to want to hit with that pit. Oh, they're going to be just walking past each other, too. And now it's being heard. So Bones just heard the run up here from Sim. They're going to call to rotate over. And he's just going to wait to try to get a perfect backstab. But it depends if Boys has a better timing after this. Great. Molly and the barrier from the deadlock at the front. So TSM can really only come from one way. And it's the left side of the elbow. Unless they want to try and shoot through this backstab for Bones. Big opportunity for Fluffy Amber's a 3k. And hearing someone behind panics under pressure. 12 seconds Last left. TSM still have to play it, and GMD can't do it. TSM just got outplayed by a guy named Bones. Last round before the switch. And that's for them continuing their default without having the well, not necessarily continuing. It's the first time that they're going back, or sorry, not the first time, but they're going back to the default of playing slower One towards both remaining. lanes on short and sands, and not towards the extremities. And somehow it's just a read here and a hero play that they feel like they have to do something here for Bones. Remember when we presented this matchup, when TSM goes through these flood hits towards the site, they need the deadlock to be in a great spot to throw walls here towards the spawn, towards either A or B. Well, hold that oh. thought. There's a pushback from TSM for short A. I'm holding. 
but the aimers will be holding the cell very soon the seekers mummy managed to teleport out and squash to the crossfire of neptune and mummy but still tsm just overwhelmed the site wingman's got the plan tsm focus on moving forward one player moving into heaven jonah the last survivor it's tsm they stop any kind of semblance of a comeback from fluffy aimer is after the uh, the ninja defuse if you want to call it and fluffy aimers having bones pull off a three or four k to save the round but it's tsm back in the driver's seat yeah just a nice little smoke diffuse that came through from mummy but yeah they they've realized here for uh bones that they could start activating these backstab that's what i was trying to get to where tsm they're, they're hyper focused on leveraging so much utility to block out the opponent's spawn when they're hitting sites it opens up and weakens a, a default that they can't afford here because they need so much utility to be grouped together for these executions to happen and bones was able to find great value out of that two rounds ago and tsm the round after like we're not gonna let that happen he gets a 3k we'll just fight back against them they win a perfect counter and they have a 9-3 scoreline now going into the half so not as dominant as the first map where it finished 13 to 1 for sunset uh for fluffy aimers but still a pretty decent half for tsm as they now take the defender side See if Fluffy oh Amers can make up the gap in the score with how good their offense was on Sunset. This is how they bring the series back in their favor. Fluffy Amers will crawl up a short thanks to the Viper's wall. And Sim holds his corner. Little dance against pancakes. Has to paint shells. If trying to zone them out of this area but it's gonna hold on and wait for rotations possibly but tsm's b-side defenders are not on their way anytime soon tsm will not be able to escape either a proto falls and sim is low barely managing to escape and on their way is the rest of tsm but the spike's already been planted sim fell back and kind of just left a proto on an island because he was looking for a heal so a proto couldn't do anything so you better get the revenge and avenge your fallen teammate on the retake now, TSM. Wow. A great paranoia from Mummy there, but who is going to swing on that? It's a long distance shout from Fluffy Aimers. Fluffy Aimers gave up U-Haul control. That's where TSM tried to retake from, and it's almost like TSM walked into Fluffy, uh, Fluffy Aimers' trap, I guess. Yeah, if anything, again, once you saw that instant dink that came through from Sim, he fell back and a proto was starting to get sprayed and there was double flashes coming through on the execution for Fluffy Amers as well. I saw the sky flash with the Dizzy. It gooped to even Sim as he was falling back and he wrapped around front triple. And they were able to capitalize uh, the wrap around to just take a proto down because he saw a proto throw the wall into showers. So they knew there was only a weak side A. They're trying to delay and they, they flooded the map quite well after pushing sim away and get a flawless on the pulse plant positions very hard to do here for tsm on a retake when a pistol round you have much less util lots of ghosts were in their favor here fluffy amers just dizzying up b grabbing orb but look jonah in a position to catch these flanks out of tsm how does jonah know this is gonna happen and he denied the chance of gmd Smoking off Hookah to delay Fluffy Hammers. And now they've teleported on to A. And awaiting them is Seven with a dizzy of his own, but waiting for the chance to no! know. Fluffy Hammers just suffocate him. And it's all up to Sim and a Proto playing from U Haul. Sim has already swung and he's got the attention of two, and a Proto is too late to help him out in that situation. Fluffy Hammers, the team play continues to be something we can appreciate based on how sunset went and how this offensive half is going so far and unfortunately when a proto is trying to swing back out he got hit by the paranoia from mame so to talk about this agent being picked by mame being the omen on this map we haven't seen this in a very long time at least in north america on this map this was a agent that mame used to play back when he was with together we're terrific slash envy uh, and he was even opping on this agent on this map. Uh, but you definitely do see that there's no overcooking like out of captain. There's no one ways really being placed here on this side. Just some good, honest flashes that get great value and potentially use the, the TPs for verticality if they want to use an op on a defense or on the attack so that Bones could be the one creating the space. Now, a bonus round for Fluffy Aimers. 
and TSM on a full rifle, Scout, except for a proto with a guardian, holding towards the B, uh, the A site because he needed to use that money to get two sonic sensors on those potential satchels towards the A site. I wonder how much Poise saw with that trailblazer going around Fountain on B long. Got shot down, but being able to see through that pretty big fluffy aimers, feeling like they've been discovered, have shifted their attention towards A, walking up with the Viper Wall and now flashing with the dizzy of pancakes using the paint shells into U-Haul. And the swing from Sim is always so well timed. It catches Fluffy Amers off guard when TSM can hold an ankle and Fluffy Amers have to push into them. And it's TSM with pretty consistent first bloods. Fluffy Amers will keep the numbers as close as they can. All they got to do is play the post, plant smart. Spike's been playing a TSM. Everyone is here and ready to party. There's the Dizzy from Seven Voice. Has a flash left in hand. And TSM just go one by one, staggering through the smoke. Double swing. Well timed from Voice and Seven to finish the job for TSM's retake. And somehow the Dizzy solo is getting a lot of value here to allow TSM to start Everybody coming back clean, into the man. site. On, to start coming back it. into the fight and the fray as well to make sure that they win their gun round. But a decent bonus round for Fluffy Aimers. Getting a plant after dropping three weapons. And almost looked here on Heaven and Deadlock in this raise playing together towards the A site. You want to have those net nades getting value. But there was a great job by Fluffy Amers to add the tempo and force the players to fight back here from TSM inside U-Haul, where you can't set up for these trap plays with that net, with the raise nade. So it allows at least for them to get the plant and get a a still a very healthy buy going into their gun round here for Fluffy Aimers and doesn't look that bad here for TSM because you still have a proto with a sheriff and he could put good value with this and you still have three players in a crossfire setup where fame oh, seems yeah. to be leaning Monster towards you at the beginning. The Sonic sensor spotted by the Trailblazer, Pancakes, uh, the Thrash got netted and Fluffy Aimers got mollied off their their entry into a short and with Bones getting first blooded, it's going to be even more difficult. Still got a Dizzy and a Flash and with Neptune still set up in showers, they could always sell that fake. But TSM dogging back to re-clear B, we'll discover there's somebody on the side and that's pulled TSM rotate. Ooh, even a sonic sensor hits him, at least it's traded though. So they know at least a pivot for TSM that Fame is permitted to plant towards this B site. It'll be a three on three on that site. And Seven is late to the party, so Dizzy not there. No One flashes for TSM, but it's gunfights. It's GMD, the anchor at the back. One that has been so big, down. along no. with Poise's info right off the start of the re-clear from TSM. We're left in a 1v1. Pancakes versus Seven. Which part of the box will he emerge from? Pancakes saw the right. How'd he get on top? Now Wingman's defusing, and Seven will take full advantage. Lee saved that one there for TSM because it looked really good. We talked about a three-on-three -three fight within the beast site that was actually in favor of TSM towards the end. They got three for, uh, three for two. I'm oh, sorry, two for one at that point. And they got a little bit mistimed in how they communicated the double swing back towards fighting the front of the site where that was a potential here for Pancakes to clutch that 1v2 because of those the, that double swing that wasn't well timed enough and they, they had to wait for the wingman at least here for seven so they could at least get the, the defuse through force the player out and win that 2v1 or at least both, both geckos were on top of the scoreboard doing their job and seven is the last one that got the best value out of it so far by winning that 1v1 and putting Fluffy Emers in a timeout. Ooh, we're going. I'm getting map three vibes for sure with TSM uh, scrounging up a few rounds here in the second half. It would have taken quite a monumental Fluffy Emers com uh, comeback, uh, especially having to needing to take the bonus, which they failed to do. And now TSM getting economy back into a more stable state has been nice. So it's caused Fluffy Amers to, to figure out what is it going to take to push TSM to that brink? Yeah, they haven't figured that out yet here on their attack side. As TSM seems to be able to at least, I mean, I criticized the last double swing that they did, but the other ones that they did towards the A side under the chaos looked pretty good by pop flashing through Mummy Smokes and using Mummy Smokes to their advantage to really surprise 
Fluffy Emers. And a flash to try to get contact, avoided by Fluffy Emers at the very beginning. Just to allow an orb to get picked up, though. So you do have ults available, being a thrash and a showstopper against Fluffy Emers by here that only has three vandals. The other two are with Guardians, and they're going to try to use those, those bolt action rifles to try to get picks here from Hookah, which unfortunately gets instantly smoked out. GMD's one away from Orbital Strike, and he got like a 2k on the offense last time. He used it. These could be some big ults to, to retake the site of TSM, lose any semblance of real estate. And this dog is, is in the kennel. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so would have been nice to spot that before using the dog. It's fine, though. Fine for TSM, surely. They got three stacks, sonic sensors all over the place, and all three looking at that elbow. So buff beamers are going to reconsider. Second time, too, here that Jonah is able to slip through and make it quite forward inside one of the sides, this time towards A. And as he gets smoked out towards heaven, Sim is probably going to start calling this here that, yeah, I got smoked out. I hear the wingmen coming through. I hear the TP, the execution's there. Should I ult now or wait for you guys? And it's going to be, I'll wait for you guys. Sim in heaven, smoke's clear. Oh, and snake bite right at the door. This could stagger TSM, but they're going to communicate well. Boom bot out. Or maybe Sim will change up his position. No, TSM are just going to commit more members to heaven, especially with Fluffy Amers throwing mollies in their path and the showstopper at a distance. Sim somehow gets that kill. There was a detain and Fluffy Amers defend against the post, uh, defend against the retake as best as they can. Poise versus Neptune. Who is the better sky? But the defuse can't happen. So Fluffy Amers, after the timeout, will pick up a round. The chaos once again where it went back and forth that that was actually pretty clean valorant from both of the teams overall great delays coming through on the pulse plan great lurch to push forward and to pull the rotate from fluffy aimers to take advantage of the a site and the ults hit all the thrash all the showstoppers got value out of that and it just came down to those individual fights those trade protocols that came in favor of both i mean look how even it was it ended up being both guys together forcing to save their weapons but the round going in favor of fluffy aimer simply because it got the spike down but somehow too with how it looks so dominant for tsm at the very beginning fame has now an opportunity to close that gap because tsm's on an eco your rifle denied no gun for you no raise for you fluffy aimers and also get this orb going two away from showstopper two away from seekers and thrash smokes will delay things as a proto can put a barrier down if really needed but knowing that this could be coming be long tsm gonna group up in hookah they can always wrap around two buffy aimers now get the site for free flashing satcheling no one's home and fluffy aimers will get a safe plan out of it Definitely want to go for this backstab. But there's already the Viper watching it back. Jonah's going to be able to walk it through. Nep uh, Mummy, rather, is going to be first contact. Great start for Fluffy Aimers. 4v4. Just one rifle to worry about. And Poise at least gets two. Wait, they could do this now. This is with very Orbital doable. Strike Orbital Strike. But does he opt to use it? You got to get info on where this is. Last and a proto seven. will lead us and turns and burns on bones. Pancakes will dizzy in and get the flash on to GMD who leaves the orbital strike behind. The diffuse being stuck. And TSM will go to 12 and match point. <laughs> you are lucky that this is a teammate's orbital strike, so it's not going to do as much damage so that a proto oh, can walk in and go for the full <laughs> defuse. If not, that would have been a huge meme and a half. But yeah, very nicely done on the thrifty for TSM. And it was well understood here for Fluffy Emers that they would try to come through and pick up the, the rifle that was left behind here uh, by Sim with the hero rifle. So they looked over that angle, but Mummy overextended, which allowed here TSM to just start you know, steamrolling through the retake towards that B site after landing those shots and having two ults in their favor on top of that. So now they're yeah. at map point. In the second map, it's actually Fame that has a broken econ. At least they have ults to work with so they can maybe salvage this round. Ascent will be 
or not sent, but we'll go to a third map. It'll be on split. And it's Fluffy Amers with First Blood. They'll try to extend this as far as they can with four ults. They are smoked off though. And there's a crossfire being set up from TSM, especially with Seekers available from Poised. Maybe when the smoke clears, it could be a time, but Bones will be stuck in this corner. And Poised somehow new, but still loses that Bones can now encourage the team to still commit to B. Three kills for Bones, but they've already teleported and Fluffy Amers have gone towards A. This is a lot of weight on the Proto's shoulders to hold us back. When you, you started netting though. Ooh. Sensor tripped. Bit of a dance off the green boxes. At least Sim I'm is there the for the ride. Just the boom bot left for defensive util and Seekers. Halted there by left. Sim. They'll take shelter in U-Haul and hope to swing together. But Fluffy Amber saw this, but the Jonas Spike trying for planted. a 1v2, 1v2, sure. Spike will get planted now. This is a proper crossfire from Fluffy Amber is knowing they're both in U-Haul and it's as easy as that. You want more? I mean, you, Sorry, you said buddy. it. Proto has to do whatever he can to delay as much as he could. He did. Saw the Viper. Was starting to wall the Viper towards the short A, so Jonah has to stay tucked in. Throws his net. Sonic Sensor does delays. But unfortunately, both players rotating out, now grouped up together for PSM, just couldn't land the burst shots against Fame, trying to rush out towards showers. And as the TP came through from Mame, you definitely saw there more map control more spacing being taken by fluffy aimers and then better set up towards the end uh, to convert that round so the round's not over uh, the map's not over yet still an opportunity here for fluffy aimers to fight back a low econ for the defenders jump spot now Sp seeing two sets and hearing two sets of shots rather and the proto's gonna fall back right away and pull in a rotate right of gmd there. over and for flame though uh they're, they're still just gonna try to default around this side of fountain they still have the, the thrash to take space. They still have a dog, which probably the reason why, too, that they want to use a dog before. We've seen that on the attack center with TSM for Poised. Where you use a dog inside the B-side first before using the thrash. Just so you don't have to waste it that early. Well, that flash is not going to get info. This is, this is false information right now. Especially with a contact or short A. Yeah, look at that rotate coming out from TSM. More yeah, space gain for fame. Jonah made a lot of noise. 3 HP though, it's kind of sad because what if you wanted to pit this round, but the wealthy aimers, oh, yeah. they already have the gun advantage. What more could you ask for? Now throwing Seekers and the Thrash going through B elbow. It did stun, at least the dog stunned somebody, but TSM left. seemed to be okay for now. Fluffy aimers carefully getting around these corners and actually sending the house tsm have a line of people there paranoia and tsm fight to the nail the mosh pit will split them up you want more here's more tsm being as careful as they can the thrash locks down poise bones goes for more fluffy hammers take angles around mummy on the left Pancakes watching the right. Double string from GMD and a Proto, but isolated because of the smoke. Pancakes in a one-to-one, -one, but it's Mame that will still live on. And TSM almost hot, had that round on the Thrifty to win that one, win that second map on their side. And thankfully, Seven had that second thrash that didn't allow here for TSM to really fight back on Elbow. Because all those first engagements were really won on that side. And it's not only on the Thrash, he had a perfect launch too. Right here behind it. That allows then Bones to create space right after and salvage the round, save the round for Fluffy Aimers, where <laughs> Jim Dio unfortunately missed his jump there. Brimstone's got some heavy boots. Uh, but nonetheless, that was that was a thrifty that TSM had. Did some great econ damage. And now they have an opportunity here to close the map. Utility, ults back in their favor. Fluffy Amers scaling up. They also have their sky over at um over at the A, which it's been nice Boys to throw you till you never know where Fluffy Amers are. How good they've been selling these fakes. Spike is heading through Hookah and it's smoked off, so Pancakes can keep recollecting these dizzies. It's TSM. I haven't really extended out. If anything, they're playing deeper into the site and Positions where they can wait for reinforcements if things get crazy. 
Jonah once again made it towards U-Haul, and that's no information here for TSM. Jimdy's just forced to ADS here towards the boxes, and that timing, that peak just came through. So that's now three players flipping across, and should be an easy plant. And this allows your bones to catch rotate. Oh, oh and poise with first blood. And this is match point for TSM. They'll have GMD in heaven. Seven has thrash. Seekers for TSM as well. But it's the pit that begins for Jonah at the back half of the site with the spike planted, forcing TSM to retake through heaven. An area where they can see, but Neptune, all he sees. It's juicy targets as the thing happens for seven. They go to deal with the problem, but Neptune still stands at the green boxes and Fluff Gamers scramble through the pit. And it's only a proto left for TSM despite having the first blood. A proto could clutch this up. We'll tap the spike, but I don't think the defuse can happen. Wow. And that's a tough one. <laughs> At least got the flick on the classic to be able to get that pick, but yeah. It was a round that ended up here in favor of Fluffy Aimers. You saw everybody getting procked up with utility just inside of that Viper's Pit to try to counter those double ults that was about to get used here by TSM. And how did Neptune dance around all those boxes with his util and still get value on a kill was probably the biggest thing here to allow Fluffy Aimers to run that clock down off that spike, run the ticker, and allow for that to go off and close the gap only by three now and potentially even by two. TSM back now with the lower buy, but they have once again ults that they could utilize if they're able to get some sort of picks on their side in the early of the uh, in the early of these rounds or at least on these retakes just like they did on their last oh, thrifty and then you could play for right retakes there. with the orbital strike and it's not impossible for tsm to close it out here and now and i like how gmd is, is just standing up right at a short hoping to catch fluffy aimers walking up but it not going to be there yet, but now that GMD is smoked off from mid, him playing this close is unexpected if you're if you're fluffy aimers trying to be comfortable. TSM haven't taken this level of map control before. Fluffy aimers have someone in showers Smoke too. Down. That's where the rest of TSM are watching. So GMD may not get anyone to trade with him. And look at this little nook that he sat himself in and Neptune snuffs him out. First blood for this attack. You see Jonah pushing up through showers. TSM gonna get mollied off from the back line. Wingman will plant poise. Coming up through heaven and... Yeah, well, the wingman out. was a fake. Plant will come out here towards this B side and everybody's just booking it back for TSM. And they still have Annihilation, but I don't think they're gonna use it at this point. Unless you get some easy base. Wow, Fluffy Amers are locking on heads today. I don't know. Neptune with three. Fluffy Amers kind of coming back. They're within two. And unlucky there for GMD at the beginning. If only he had a Phantom or he had a Vandal. That was the kill coming through from Neptune. But that's some of the things that you could learn here, chat, when you're seeing how Neptune was clearing that smoke. He sticks his gun inside the wall so that his barrel doesn't stick out of the smoke so that he could just flick in and then it's going to be a 50 50 whoever's going to win the fight across the smoke if there's somebody there so the reaction came through gmd did get first reaction but unfortunately only had a bulldog to dink his opponent and allow neptune to just win the fight towards the end which then again you you force that whole rotate over from tsm over towards the a site because he not only uh saw but also hurt the amount of players here gmd of uh fluffy aimers committing towards an a site to start but then i mean it's bind easy tps to get the upper hand they get the plant towards the b site and now they're two rounds away of putting this into a third or uh, into overtime rather if they can here for fluffy aimers and tsm finally realizing this that the lead is is slipping away from their grasp so they call the timeout and they hope to seal it now as they have their gun round an important TSM one here. have a few chances though and they're still going to decide to force and only have light shields it's the biggest one yeah exactly because so so right now it's the most important round that you're going to have because the next one if you lose this you don't have money so you're playing around these ults and you're playing around these rifles 
tapping the orb, but disengaging as soon as he heard the flash from Neptune. Back to me. It's a 2 1 2 with fluffy aimers. They're just smoking themselves off and really putting panic into TSM's mind, especially after early exposing themselves early at Belong. And the same thing for fluffy aimers. They're trying to play not to lose so far. And understanding here off a timeout that TSM might try to go from some sort of play or trying to snuff out if TSM is going to go for some sort of play after the timeout. They stay towards the spawn. Finally, the dog gets a little bit of information here. There's leniency towards the A side, but little does TSM know that there's more players here. And despite that ding, though, it's still just Jonah, right? So this is still a alert potentially from Viper that TSM's aware of. So nobody's early rotating here. So Fame reads it. They have three players now inside you all. Oh, seven. It's gonna be in trouble. Mosh is out, showers, seekers coming into A. And Bones makes a pretty big splash as Fluffy Aimers still fight for site control because it doesn't look like seven. And a boys wanna give this up for free. They only have a flash and seven's just taking that for free, thinking someone is watching that corner. Orbital strike from GMD to clear out U-Haul. Seven! Didn't know Mame was there. Uh -oh. We'll try to teleport into U-Haul. GMD might have heard this, but the smoke from the Viper kind of cuts them both down. He had a detain from Pancakes. His thrash laudable came out of this round. This is how important this was, and look how decisive this was for Fluffy Aimers. And that was, again, off the, the, the chaos of how Fluffy Aimers are able to sneak through towards the A side and leave Bones behind on a lurk. Your duelist is lurking on the other side and still getting value this time around. Last time he got, he got popped by boys towards the B site, but at least this time he got one and kept a proto to fight against him, forced him to use a net, which means less utility now for TSM to retake towards that site. And look at this buy now at round number 24 for TSM. Small shields across the board, two vandals, a bulldog, guardians, and a trap play, and a gamble rather, just to try to move down towards Sands, and it's easily avoided at the beginning. Jeez, Sim looking only one way when he crossed the road, and a proto punished the timing, almost killed Mame. Fluffy Amers, five rounds in a row. And just the timing on this util. Allowing Fluffy Amers to have these advantages and healing Mame back up to full by playing close to Neptune and Pancakes up to full too. What a round for Fluffy Amers. It's 5v3. And look how deep TSM have extended. They not knowing, did they push up into B long? Are they on the site? Well, Sim, well, Spike stopped playing it here, didn't hear the teleport. Where could Fluffy Amers be? And it was a, a missed timing, too, from Jonah. He was looking out towards Spice, turns away, and as he does that, two players of TSM slip by. So both of these teams now have no idea where each other are. This time, TSM is gambling that it's towards the A site. For Fluffy Amers, they're thinking, well, they still have a dog. So that's going to clear out left. the site, and that's going to confirm that they can hit towards his B site and plant. Uh, silver lining for TSM is they don't have to worry about a showstopper, I guess. So cleared out Hookah with it, so you got something done. A lot of numbers on this post plant, too. Not a lot of util, just a snake fight for Jonah, but TSM have kicked down the door at seven with three no and way. four. What a retake for TSM to shut down the possibility of OT. Thrash, it's on no its way, way, but it took the upshot like a champ, and Jonah is the final victim as TSM will claim bind and send us into our a final map. That was up to seven to save the round for TSM with barely any utility for TSM for the retake. Dizzy Wingman allowing for them to flood back and he just goes nuclear with that round on all the, all the kills he got here with the Phantom and allowing TSM just to close out that map in. It took so many rounds, but at least they got it done. A win is a win, am I right? Well, Dryden was asking, what time does TSM play? And it's right now on Bind! And Sim, I think we messed up which S character we wanted to hype up, because seven whole, the amount of multi-kills this guy has had, he is pulling yeah. more than enough of his weight.
a fun little kind of wrap around, ring around the rosy round we had at the end. I thought we were going into OT, but I know one thing is we're going to map three. So stay tuned, everyone. We'll see you after the break. Peace. 